Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the data types and the variables in Java. So when you write the programs, you know, it doesn't matter in which programming language you're going to write the program, you know, you need to work on the data in your program. So when you use data in your programs, you know that data will be stored in the computer memory locations. So let me see whether I can draw this. So let's assume that this is our computer memory and our computer memory is consisting of billions of memory cells and each memory cell is going to contain its own address. So let's say in your program you're going to use a data or you know a value let's say 10. So this value 10 must be stored in these memory cells and also you know the computer is going to store the data in the available memory addresses. So we can't say where exactly it's going to store the data. Let's say it is stored here and let's assume that it has the address 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, just assuming. And now, you know, this value 10 will be stored in this address 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In your program, if you want to access this uh, value 10, then you guys need to refer to this memory location 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But in real, you know, this uh, memory address is not going to be like this. It's going to be a weird value. And also, you know, I have told that, you know, the computer memory is going to contain billions of memory cells. So you never know where your data is saved in the memory. So in order to make the access to the value stored in a memory cell easy, what we can do is we can give a name for the memory cell. So in our program, what we're going to do is we're going to create a name for the memory cell and our computer is going to bind or uh, link that name with an available memory cell and it's going to manage all the address and all these things. And when we save some value under that name, you know, that uh, value or data will be stored in the memory location linked with that name. And, uh, you know, when we retrieve the value using that name, you know, the value or the data stored in that memory linked with that name will be retrieved. So let's say we're going to give a name called X. Now we can easily refer to this name X in our program and our computer is going to take care of this address and all those things and it's going to uh, give us the value which is 10. So this name given to this memory location is called the variable and the type of data which is stored in a memory location is called the data type. So here we are storing a value of 10 you know which is an integer value and that's why the data type of this variable x is gonna be int and uh, similarly you know if we were storing any character value let's say a and also you know let's say we have given uh, the name for this memory location as p and then you know the data type you know which is the type of data which is stored in this memory location is gonna be character type and that's why it's gonna be char. So a variable is nothing but the name given to the memory location in order to access that easily in your program and also the type of data which is stored in the memory location is called the data type. Alright, in Java we have 8 primitive data type. We have the integers, we have the floating point numbers, you know the numbers with the decimal values and then we have the character type and then we have the boolean type. You know this boolean is going to contain the values either true or false and here in this integer type we have the types like uh, byte then uh, short, then int, and then we have uh, long. And in this floating point category, we have the type as float, and also we have double. And in this character type, we have the category char. And in this boolean type, we have the category boolean. So here, these integers are the whole numbers. Let's say the numbers 10 and let's say the numbers 20 or you know the number 100 etc etc the whole numbers. So this byte, short, int and long are gonna 
differ in the number of bytes which are used to store the values. So if we use the data type as byte, then it's gonna take eight bits or one byte in memory. Similarly, if you use this short as the data type, then uh, you know it's gonna take two bytes or 16 bits. And if you use the int as data type, then it's gonna take four bytes or you know 32 bits. And uh, if you use long, then it's gonna take 64 bits or eight bytes. And then this float is gonna contain the numbers with the decimal values. For example, you know, 10.23 or, you know, 20.45, 100.63, you know, any numbers with the decimal values. Here we have the data types as float and double. So if you use the data type as float, then it's going to take uh, four bytes or, you know, 32 bits to store the value with decimal points and uh, if you use double it's gonna take 64 bits or you know 8 bytes to store the value with decimal point and then we have the character data type the character values are a single characters for example let's say a or you know capital a or uh, b you know all these characters so if we use the data type as char then it's gonna take 16 bits or two bytes to store the character in the memory and then we have this boolean values so this boolean values are gonna contain only two values either true or either false so if you use the boolean data type you know the memory taken to store the boolean value is going to depend on the virtual machine but it's going to contain only two values you know either true or false so this is about you know the variables the data types in uh, java and in the next tutorial i'm going to teach you guys how to create and use the variables in java and i'll see you in the next tutorial